At the end of the day, I think what else can be done, it could be done for different countries differently. In the case of the Republic of Armenia, I think the formula is quite simple. The small is good, and the small can be very successful, taking into account what is happening in the world today. The way we describe uh, the economic and technological future is quite obvious. This world is, uh, is starting going into a so-called fourth industrial revolution, I would make it a bit more complicated that the revolution is not the ordinary one, that, that uh, we have a revolution and we have a long period of time of evolutionary development. This is going to be a permanent revolution. Because the amount of scientific knowledge and achievements that we have accumulated, combined with the huge number of people now are involved with startups and others into this process, this process is going to be very, very dynamic in, and dramatic in some ways. I think what we are going to see, the rise of quantum computing, the rise of uh, new technologies in biotechnologies, of course, big data, and of course, the crown of this, all of this will be the artificial intelligence. I think it will be everywhere. And in my opinion, is it's very simple. You should not be afraid of artificial intelligence. It's the same story that 30, 40 years ago, or 50 years ago, people were afraid of IT. Ah, IT will come, computers will come, people will lose jobs. No. There will be much more jobs, huge amount of jobs, new jobs created, and the, what will change the, the quality and, and the type of the, of the activity of humans. I mean, we will go into more innovative work. So that's the industrial revolution number four. But I call it art evolution, rapid evolution, mm -hmm. rather than fourth, because Probably that will not be the fifth one. We will, we will exponentially go up. But there is one thing that is important. This revolution is happening not only in economy and, and technology. This revolution is happening in our human behavior as well. On the cusp of being a great technological advantage, a new end is in the sweet. Uh, we've been forced to question and re evaluate everything that has been presented to us. Exactly. If, if you had to get to you, um, the reality is that the, we are, the world is making a lot of effort in order to handle this, especially the climate change. And the way we see forward is the green technology, uh, renewables, which is fine, which is the hydro, which is the wind, which is the solar, which is fantastic. Of course, all of that has a big problem about the quality of the technology, the tariffs, how much it will cost to create a kilowatt of, of energy. Even with the best, best scenarios that we will sell less, less arms and we'll invest in those technologies, it will take decades and decades. From our past, which was absolutely black, we were burning coal. Now it's a sort of a greenish where we're burning uh, a bit more gas and we have renewables in several countries. To come to, to that future which is green, it will take probably 50 to 100 years but we don't have that time. I think the mass damage to climate and environment is going to be dramatic and tragic. But that's the reality, that we don't have the technologies yet, we don't have the political will yet, we don't have the, the sort of investment in place yet in order to handle it. So let's face the reality. This is the reality that we're facing. It's going to be tough. It's going to be engaging all of our efforts and it's going to be bringing people to common sense. But even with the common sense, investment is going to take time. That's number one. Number two, to continue what I, I started telling you, technologically we will be advancing and this process will be fantastically going around. But our social behavior, our political behavior, the way we run politics is going to change dramatically. That is going to be another revolution. It's just a completely different world that we are going to face. Well, the voice of in, in, individuals will be heard very strongly and it will influence the decision making very heavily. <laughs> you have your voice, try to use it. You have to use it, otherwise you'll be responsible for what's happening in this world. And you'll be continuing blaming politicians, government, organizations. 
Now you have the voice, raise it. 